What's up? Um, you know, Wyatt here, Ben Diggles. Um, happened to be in the whip, uh, and we just wanted to do a little live demo of this thing we did um, for, uh, you know, notarizing, uh, like, lat lawns are, are basically, like, how do we create, uh, you know, secure audit trail of people's, like, movement or placement. Um, add your, your, your adjective or whatever there. But basically, um, I just want to show you guys how this works. So I have this uh, app uh, on an Android. This is like our digital our digital twin um, implementation that just keeps track of uh, information flowing from one of these devices. Um, uh, and, you know, secures it using a typical, you know, public private key thing. And, um, you know, right here we're taking a look at the actual, like, formation of a DAG, uh, of, you know, one of our clusters. Um, each one of these green dots is a checkpoint block. Uh, that is contains you know some type of information from our digital twin. Um, so if we want to actually take a look at that, what this is doing is it's keeping track of all of our um, lat lawn information. So like where physically like are we? And if you want to take a look right now, we're driving down. Uh, what highway are we on right now? The 101. On the 101. That's poetic. Um, <laughs> and yep. So we want to take a look at. This feed web page, dear web page, please load. Um, what we can take a look right here are uh, at these lat lawns that are updating right now based upon us driving down the highway. So and we can we can share that physically too. Um, but you basically trace our route down here. Um, the reason why this stuff actually matters is because you know the whole promise of blockchain tech was that we'd be, be able to create this like secure log of any kind of like information whatsoever. But you know, with your traditional kind of models, like you know, using the serialized consensus, like you know, you're basically just relying on a blast of information that gets you know, you know, consensus performed on it to get some kind of you know, validity uh, in certain you know time steps. Uh, the point I'm getting at is you can't really notarize streams of information um, because you can't perform consensus uh, in an asynchronous way. Um, and that's what we did differently with our protocol. So basically, any kind of like data feed that you want to keep track of, in this case, us just driving down the street. Or the highway, the 101. Um, this can all be, you know, wrapped up inside, you know, an immutable and only ledger that's, you know, secure. Blah blah blah. And um, yeah, I mean, this, this is basically like, you know, a, a way that you can create a blockchain application that processes streams of information, um, which, to my knowledge, like, is not really quite possible um, with other tools that are out there. Um, even things that are highly scalable, like IOTA, Hashgraph, or whatnot, don't necessarily have the infrastructure to actually create these channels, but we call them for, um, you know, event-specific information that you're trying to notarize. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is basically how we're going to be able to put all of the world's data on chain and keep everything secure and give people a way to actually tell fact from fiction. Um, in this simple dummy example that we rolled out, us driving on the highway, you can figure out where the hell actually am I. Um, am I in Chicago or am I driving down the 101 back home to SF? Um, in some other kind of situation, um, do I actually have like accurate information coming from some mission critical life threatening sensor? Um, this is the thing that's gonna, you know, could be life or death for some individuals and hopefully will help us tell fact from fiction when we need to make really important decisions both on our personal level and our personal lives um, and kind of on a geopolitical scale. Like, is there actual evidence and data to back up claims? And if there's not, then I think it's time to, to move over for someone who actually does. Um, so it starts with lat lines and it ends with, um, you know, a factual public record that is not maintained by any central authority that can allow us to govern ourselves in a fair, accurate, um, sustainable way. Which we just got out of a meeting <clears throat> discussing how to create an immutable ledger of transactions from remote keyless entry. So taking IoT data and remote keyless starters, remote keyless entry, and putting that audit trail on our distributed network at the scale that they need and security they need.